Yeah, I think uh, we played against uh, a quality team that people can think that they have nothing to play for, but it doesn't look that to me. They played really, a really strong game, like they should. <clears throat> and uh, I thought in the first half we didn't control the ball as well as we should have done. Uh, it is something that, unfortunately, sometimes we tend to, to do that. We get the temptation to play this vertical ball, this long ball, and then after you play against a team like them, that when they get the ball, they are very good at keeping it. And then you have to work a lot and run a lot to get that, to get that back. Because the minute you don't put pressure, they control. Uh, and if you put pressure, you are not coordinated, that can find the gaps. So it's very difficult to play against this team. But I'm very proud of the boys because they came here and they play, again, toe-to-toe with a team that is full of quality players. And uh, yeah, there is this uh, late goals uh, in the first half and in the second that uh, obviously doesn't please me, but I think that uh, we show to come here to Miami and to play in the way that we did and come back in the second half and to control the game more. And having also the chances on the 2-1, uh, or even before the, to score the second one, we had a few chances in the second half. I think it's a sign of a team that is alive, that is growing. And, uh, you know, we need to we need to keep going and we need to keep, uh, to stay in the hunt, like you said. And uh, on Saturday, you're going to have to scheme for that other guy who says he's going to play. <laughs> what can I do? I mean, Steve, if you want to have a word with him and uh, keep him keep him away, <laughs> He's, if he plays, he plays. And uh, and uh, we have to deal with uh, uh, to play against uh, against uh, all the players that they have. We have to focus on ourselves and we need to play our game. And we also, but also we have our supporters uh, uh, on our side and I uh, hope that they will uh, really be behind the guys like you always do uh, strongly, whatever happens, because these this guys, they do, they really play strong game every time and they want, uh, and they want badly to give uh, our supporters, uh, you know, the goal that we always uh, had uh, from the beginning of the season, it goes down to the last game and we want to, to, to give them a big gift. Molto grazie. Great. Thanks, Steve. Uh, John? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Christian, it seems mm -hmm. like Kerwin had a strong game, obviously scored a goal. Same with Enzo. And Joswiak had a strong game. Do you, were you satisfied with how the play was uh, developing out wide? And the Jager, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly, it seemed like he had a, a very strong game as well. So, can you just talk about how the front four there, so to speak, played tonight? Yeah, I thought that, that uh, I thought that Kevin did well in the last game, <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to keep him in the squad, just keep him in the in the team. And so for me, he's growing. I'm so happy he scored the goal because, as I said, he, I thought he was playing well. He needed that, and. Um, you know, has been a few games that he's fighting well, he's protecting the ball, he's playing well back to the goal, he's pressing, and uh, the goal uh, is very important for a striker, so I'm very happy for him for that. Regarding Camille, I think Camille, we know that he's a player that uh, he works well. I thought he was getting tired, and then I needed to do something different towards the end, <clears throat> because with the introduction of Jordi Alba, and the strike that they changed tactically, and I thought that we needed to change our structure to minimize and to keep them in front of us. Otherwise, they would have penetrated us a lot more than that. So, and then also I have the, the, the game of Saturday in mind, eh? because it's, there's only two days and we need to be as fresh and as, uh, as ready as possible. Brecht in the middle, he can play inside, he can play outside. He also had a few days in which he didn't train because of the traveling to Belgium and back. So I know he was struggling physically at one point, and I need to have some freshness with Carol, uh, that also wasn't ready to play 90 minutes 
we took the decision together all together about how to manage that and uh, yeah we i think it's a positive performance here in a very difficult uh, pitch and uh, we need to be ready for saturday for another strong game and quickly um <clears throat> excuse me when Grant picked up the yellow card, was there any thought of, of subbing him out? I had that in mind because the worst thing that can happen, especially against Miami, against many teams, but maybe they, they are the worst team to play against them. So I had that in mind, but I knew that Brandt is, uh, is intelligent and uh, he doesn't put himself at risk. For nothing, I needed his legs. We needed the, the, his legs in the middle, and I thought he was very helpful towards the end when they double up on the side of Jalen with uh, with Jordi Alba and Robinson. So uh, he was in my mind, but uh, uh, he brought some qualities that uh, we needed uh, towards the end of the game. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right. Thank you, John. Carol. Uh, Christian, I know hindsight is twenty twenty, but when you give up a late goal in such an important game, is there anything you wish you had done different tactically, or is this, you know, you guys are who you are structurally, you know, and and things happen. Yeah, there is always uh, this question is always for, uh, but even if you concede after seventy five, sure, is uh, there is always uh, should could I have done better? Should I have done better? Maybe. There is always something that can be done. Uh, um, for sure, there is that question, but I I took the decision that I thought they were the best at the time. And, uh, but every time we put the emphasis on this, I'm getting tired of this. We want to grow as a team, but you don't help us to grow. We're asking always the same question the last minute. Instead of seeing that the team plays, come here against Miami, play is a good game. We always talk about, you can see the last five minutes, we want to have a big mentality, but the big mentality comes also from the environment, you know? And instead, always this, this putting the pressure on the guys as they concede. Yeah, there are teams that they concede four in the first 10 minutes or in the first half uh, against a team like that. So we have to grow as a mentality as well, all of us. You know, also with the question we ask, instead of looking at the good things that these guys do, on the pitch and play toe to toe against Jordi Alba, Busquets, and all the great players that they have. You know, we always put the emphasis that we concede late. Right. Well, um, and the, was that your message to the guys afterwards? I mean, what what kind of things were you talking to them about? You know, just I'm proud of the guys. The guy come here. It was very different from the last game we played here. It was very different from the last game that we played last season here when we were 2 nil up and we lost the game, but I thought that Miami was in control much more with the, with the squad, with, the, the, with the all due respect. It's nowhere near the squad that they have now. And uh, instead, we came here and we gave, uh, we played toe-to-toe -to -toe against probably arguably the best team in the league, uh, you know, player by player. So I am proud of the boys and uh, there is no substitute for time. We can talk uh, always about the same things, but we are growing as a... And then we had to learn to manage those moments better. It's moments in the game. Listen, there is a cross and uh, they, score a, they score a header, you know. And uh, yeah, ideally I want to defend every cross in the best possible way. I want to... But uh, we can also talk that Nathan defend brilliantly two minutes after another very difficult cross from Jordi Alba. But uh, I hope you see that as well, not just you, Carol, but in general. So I think that, uh, you know, there is a possibility of considering a goal against the Miami when you play uh, here. Um, and looking ahead to Saturday, you expect Carol to be ready to go? Yeah, I expect everything. Carol to be ready to go. Yeah, I expect Carol to be ready to go. Yeah, Thank and you. then we should uh, have Yere back as well. Okay. Thank and you. Bill, but Bill... Maybe take a little bit, uh, one more day, just because he played uh, late yesterday and he, and he played nearly all game. 